Hi YouTube, reverse Steve 3PO, the Tinker Bandit here, and I put together a desperately simple single color screen printing press. The press will be height adjustable since I do more than just flat items. I modeled this press around my two most commonly used frame sizes. The small screen is 14 by 17 on the outside and 11 by 14 on the inside. The large screen is 18 by 20 on the outside and 15 by 17 on the inside. All I needed for this was two pieces of medium density fiberboard. I also needed eight quarter inch by three inch flathead machine screws, number 20 thread, eight quarter inch by one inch washers, and eight quarter inch wing nuts, number 20 thread as well. I mark the center and I start with the larger frame and I mark off the corners. Then I move on to the smaller frame. I cut one inch strips from one of the MDF boards and chopped those into three inch chunks. The idea is to make corner braces. I used contact cement and a nail for the four braces for each screen. After the brackets dry, I mark which ones will go with which size, small or large, and if they're in position A, B, C, or D. This makes my life so much easier when it's time to match these up. The next step is drilling holes for the brackets. I put each one in position, clamp it down, and drill through both the bracket and the baseboard. Steve, if you want hot peppers and everything, you need to water that plant. Yes, dear. I run the bolts through the holes and use the wing nuts to hold it down while I finish the job. As an added measure, I countersunk each of these holes in the back, but I decided to put legs on the whole rig, so it really didn't make any difference. <clears throat> All I did was repeat the whole process for the small screen. I painted mine all pretty light because I'm slowly pushing this job over to my wife. I'm only telling this secret to those nice folks on the internet. Spacers can be added underneath the frame to accommodate the size of whatever it is that you're printing. The printing surface for this box, for example, is about a half an inch above the press, so I would put spacers in accordingly. With three inch bolts, there's plenty of room to accommodate printing surfaces up to two inches off the press. I hope you found some value in this video. Thank you for watching. Please give me a like and subscribe to follow my Jack of All Trades projects. Be safe and keep on tinkering.